Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video, we are going to do a very easy setup of depth fog. Suppose that you are working on a shot and your shot needing some sort of elemental dust or some sort of uh, volumetric dust. So probably you are supposed to use 2D elements, but if you don't want to use 2D elements, you want to add some sort of parallax as well. So probably this technique will be very helpful to you. So without any delay, let's jump to screen. Okay, here, here as you can see, I have a footage L129 frame and you can see camera is handheld and camera is going inside our scene, right? So first thing first, what I need to do, I need to track my camera. So to save some time, I already tracked my camera and already I have my scene set up. Already I made several videos in camera tracking. If you want to see that, please go and you can check. I'll try to give link to the description or in card as well, right? So I have my scene set up and as you can see, my camera is moving pretty nicely. So now the main part how I can add dust. Probably you are wondering, might be we can use some particle system, but you don't need to create from scratch. Although you want to create from scratch, already made a detailed video on particles. And by using particles, I have created smoke or dust. Probably you can say in very detail. I will give link to the description or in card as well. But here Nuke already provided some tool set, right? By using those tool set, we can do these kind of small tricks as well. So to import that tool set, you have to go over here in tool set group. Just click over here and we have multiple tool set. So for 2D, you can go CG Beauty, Keying and Smart Vector already we have tool sets. But in 3D, we have particles, right? We are not going to projection and rig removal. Probably if you need, I can make detailed video on it as well. But for Today's session, I'm going to use particles and in particles, we have several tool sets like uh, dust hit, right? Fog box, no rain, sparks, trails, but we are going to use fog box, right? As I'm going to click fog box, you can easily see I have a tool set where I'm getting my P fog box and some sort of example or example file already foundry provided so you can go on this link and download example files and you can start practicing along right but i am needing p fog box probably i am going to delete this so if i'm going to view through my fog box you can see i have a container right and as i'm going to double click it you can say we have very few kind of few options Life is 100, probably I'll be needing 150. If you want to uh, increase amount of particles, you can do it. If you want to change animation, you can change the seed. If you want bonding box size, you want to change it in X, Y and Z axis, you can do it. In look, we have animation speed. You can control animation speed and opacity of that particular particle system as well. So apart from that, we don't have much options. But if I'm going to play it, it will cache and you can see easily we have a very nice amount of dust. So as you can see over here, let it buffer and you can see I have a floating kind of smoke or fog, whatever you can name it, right? So I'm going to use it. So without doing anything, I'm going to connect to the scene and through scene, I have to scale my fog container. So there are two options to do that. You can do it through here, right? Or we have a dot over here and you can scale it through that dot as well. So I want to cover my entire scene. So probably I'll do this. I'll do this and keep it in mind. We don't have any option to transform it, but you can take transform geo and you can transform it. It's all up to you. But in this case, I don't want to do that. So yeah, that is pretty okay to me. And if I'm going to render it through my camera, you can easily see I'm getting nothing because it will start from frame number two, right? So can you see that? Let me play it. Can you see that? I have a good amount of fog and it's moving. It 
it's having some sort of an emission as well right isn't it great so you don't have to go and do it with particles step by step if you want you can go ahead and if you want to create that effect very very quickly you can use this technique as well so apart from that what i will be needing suppose that you are you're saying it's, it's all okay but you can see over here i am getting very strange animation if you want some subtle fog what you can do there are two ways to do that probably you can animate amount or you can take a note called frame hold right and i'll hold frame number two or frame number one whatever i like right but now if i'm going to merge it with my actual footage let's check what will happen so if i'm going to merge it it will be a over b right we are adding one layer on top of another layer right so i'll recommend to extract depth as well so how i can do that let me show it to you already i have made one video so what i'm going to do i'm going to take a note called a uh, depth generator right i'm going to take it and for depth generator i'll be needing camera so probably i can copy or paste it or probably you can connect it as well something like that still i have my camera and again directly i'm going to analyze my sequence what will happen it will automatically use camera data and it will check the input and automatically it will generate depth although it's not perfect but it will work so as i'm going over here and i can see my depth you can see i have a good amount of depth which will work in this case right so what i'll recommend i'll recommend to uh, render this depth information because it's too heavy right so to save some time already i have rendered my depth so i'm going to delete it and i'm having my depth information and keep it in mind it should be in exr format right so how i can use it probably i'll bring it over here and i'm going to add a merge and i will merge my depth information over here i'll connect and in merge i'm going to do it multiply what will happen your fog or dust will multiply with the information of depth and now if i'm going to see it you can see closer to the camera we have less dust but as a, we are going far we have good amount of dust right although it's looking great but not that great so what you can do you can color correct your background you can add some more stuff so what i'm going to do i'm going to show another comp and i will explain you what i have done in that particular comp okay so here i am with my another comp so same way i have created my fog i have multiplied my fog data with my this thing and keep it in mind i have color corrected a little my fog as well and i multiplied it right same way i did some grading i created some contrast i added some sort of color tint to my actual image did some sharpening luma sharpening added some glow to the highlighted areas right and apart from that i have added some grunge by using projection technique something like that and i color corrected my this data right so i have some grunge over here you can easily see and after that i added some chromatic aberration you can see to give it a nice look and on top of everything i have added my fog so you can easily see how i added my fog or dust kind of effect very quickly by using tool set and apart from that i have created my vignetting and reverse vignetting and voila our shot is here so i wanted to show you this technique so that you can use it in your show reels in your work as well and this is very nicely used technique as well right so i think this video will help you to understand the uses of tool set and if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is wayfx vibe Signing off. Have a good day.